The articles in the library's databases come from college-level sources that you often can't find on Google. You can search almost all of them by starting with the Articles Plus search box on the library homepage. Like Google, Articles Plus can get you a lot of results, which can be great, but also overwhelming. Luckily, there are special ways to search Articles Plus to locate sources that are just right for your project. On the library homepage, you'll see five green tabs. Make sure the Articles Plus tab is selected. First, let's remember the no phrase rule. This will usually get us very few results. Instead, use the best couple of words to describe your main idea or question. Using a star in the end of the word searches for any variation on the ending of that word. But I still have way too much stuff in my search results. I can use the limiters Articles Plus gives me to reduce my list and to get the most on-target, useful results. First off, I can limit by date. I know textbook prices have been a big topic recently, so I'm going to limit my results to the last five years. Also, my professor has been mentioning that I should make sure to include peer-reviewed sources. I can limit to just those sources using this checkbox. The sources that I get on my search results now are more likely to be based on research studies and written for a college-level audience like us. This may be useful, or it may exclude too many things, like credible sources that are not scholarly or peer-reviewed. There are additional other tools to narrow down my list of results, which can help me find sources that are most useful for my project. So how do I actually get to the article? Usually, it's just a click away. Sometimes it doesn't say full text. In that case, click Find it with Link Source. Two or three more clicks will usually get you to your article. Okay, so I've got a good looking list of results and the full text of a few articles. But how do I know if there's something I actually want to use in my research? Stay tuned.